Hey guys, it's uh, Code Draco, and I want to do a tutorial that a lot of people have been asking about on how to make this little backing thingy in Cinema 40. As you can see, these text have normal, and then in the background, there's a custom made backing for it, which you know covers all the movements and how all the text is like kind of turned angled a little bit it covers all of it so yeah and it looks kind of weird from this view because uh i made these really long for like better reflections and stuff i made the depths really long but if you're going to do this on the intro you might want to make the depths a bit shorter so it doesn't look like it's like popping out too much off the um backing i mean just in general you shouldn't have your depths too long in um intros because it just looks kind of weird but i'm just saying it's a little tip but um here we go i'm gonna show you guys how to do this uh okay so let's just imagine that this whole thing okay it's not deleting but this whole th okay wow that's cool how about we just move? all right let's imagine that this whole thing is just gone wow it does not want to delete itself right now there we go <laughs> Alright, let's imagine that that is gone and all we have is this text. So what you want to do is that if you if you open up your uh, What's it called your spline tools? You got a lot of different spines a kima is basically um, you can make like s some straight points and some curved ones Cubics obvious B spline. I don't, I don't use that bezier. Uh, I've never used that either But it's kind of obvious by the picture what it does but linear is one you should use for like something like this, where all the everything's all pointy in. It's basically just standard. So let's pick up our linear tool, and here we go. We got it right here, and you know you should see it right by your mouse, a little linear thing. Now let's press press our um, perspective button up here, and you'll see the pers regular perspective, top, right, and front. Let's go to front, and here we can see the outline of our abnormal or whatever your text is text and let's just make a quick backing this one isn't be this one isn't going to be as good as the one you saw in the beginning of the video but you know as you can see uh, you can just click sometimes your uh, what's it called make a path your don't worry about if it looks jagged because it really won't in the actual thing but uh, sometimes your arrow will be in the way over here like see if I wanted to make a point right at the O it'll make it'll think that I want to move it over here and it won't work so what you want to do then is just this big random point and then drag it over and that's how you'll do that because it's pretty customizable and then see right now i want to make a point right here but i can't because the air is right there so let's make a point and i drag it over and let's just do this real quick you guys can watch me do this real quick just as a demonstration uh, it's not going to be that good on this one um i expect you guys to do like a better job than i am right now but uh honestly uh, you want to make this as kind of like a draft because in the long run you're going to be editing this in a second because it's not going to look because because uh, in a 2D image like this the actual thing's not going to look the same when it's like three dimensional so yeah uh, if you mess up on one just go back select it again just move it just move it again uh, as you can see it's not, it's not looking that good but it's looking alright and yeah, you can do this in Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator too, but I find it a lot easier doing it in here because I can edit it out and everything, and just it is more convenient to be honest. Oh, crap! See, I hate when that happens. When you make a mistake, you have to backtrace completely, just to where that mistake was. But you should just, you know, you probably won't make too many mistakes. You should be careful, really. And then I'm I'm, pro I'm being really detailed. Actually, right now, I'm well, not really detailed, but I'm being a bit too detailed right now. I should just be going through this and just getting it done. So let's just just move this over here, really. Mm -hmm. right, I'm just gonna skip all those little indents right here, just so I can get it done. And boom. Let's move this back. Okay. So now we have a basic draft, and it doesn't look amazing, but you can see we're going to edit this in a second. So what you want to do is get out of your 
front view and go back here. Now you can see that your spline is located right here around your text. Excuse me. And then uh, here you got your spline right here. So uh, what you want to do is just go to Extrude Nerds. Most of you guys probably know how to do this. Just hold it down, go to Extrude Nerds, and drag your spline under. Then you want to open this up again, go to your top, and then uh, drag this. Oops, drag this behind your text. So just like right there. See, if you have an angled one, like mine, maybe sticking in a little, but that's fine. But your one probably not gonna be angled. And now you want to. Move the attributes up, extrude the nerves a little. 45 should be good. Or uh, what do I have here? 38, and uh, I think that should look fine. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit too much, but yeah. And now, as you can see, because as I said before, because three dimensional, it looks not as good as it would now. Um, you know, it because from a 2D to a 3D, it doesn't look as good. So what you want to do now is uh, go to your coordinates, and you'll want to move your X accordingly and your Y accordingly. And don't worry, because a lot of the points will look messed up compared to how good they looked before. So you might want to just mess with that. And now we're basically, we're practically, I know this seems kind of useless, but we're practically going to redo the whole thing. Make sure you're on this tool where you can move these around. And what you want to do is, uh, maybe like, pick pick one when you have this on, and you can just move it around and adjust all of these. So let's turn around over here. Select this, move it over here. Select this, move it over here. Select this, move it over here. Um, you just basically mess with it however you'd like. Um, maybe this is too small. And then you can also mess with it. if you double click them. You can mess with the like custom numbers. You know the, like for example, that is useful if for example. Um, you select this point at 98 and you want this point to do the same so I can double click this and make it 98 and now they're completely straight that's why I said it before it doesn't really matter if it's uh, jagged because I can just make these both 100 and then it would be the exact same Oops. and you know you can just mess with it how you want I'm going to do a quick version um, yeah And as you can see, uh, it looks just about all right. And it's this isn't even a good version too, so hopefully your version is gonna be look amazing and it's gonna look great. And I hope this tutorial helped. And I'd appreciate it a lot if you guys liked the video or whatever. And uh, yeah, because a lot of you guys have been requesting this tutorial in particular after you guys saw my intro giveaway video, which by the way. Uh, update on that. It's been doing really good. I'm gonna end the contest sometime really soon. But that that video has been doing amazing. Um, it's it's my second most viewed video, and it's only been up like three days, and it has like four thousand comments, and it's been doing really well. I guess a lot of guys like that intro. But uh, yeah. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys use this and make it look really good. All right. Thanks. And uh, anything else? No, that's really it. Alright, thanks guys, and uh, like and comment and do whatever. If you guys have any other tutorial requests, let me know, because I actually really like making these tutorials, even though they don't really get as many views as my speed art, but they still get a good amount of views. I know you guys appreciate them, the people that do watch. Alright, thanks guys, and bye.